This is um, question 116 from chapter 16. Which reaction will give 2 chloropropane in the best yield? Uh, so which one will give you the highest percentage of 2 chloropropane as the product? Yeah? So now let's look at A. Propane gas with chlorine gas in the presence of UV light. This is free radical substitution of alkane. Now let's write the equation. For A, propane gas, yep. So one, two, three, three carbon. Now free radical substitution of alkanes with chlorine gas, meaning okay, any of the hydrogen atoms can be replaced by Cl. Okay, sometimes more than one H is replaced by Cl. So basically, free radical substitution of alkane, you get a mixture of products. Because you know, um, you have the propagation steps, and then you have termination step, where any two free radicals can collide with each other, okay, combine and form a neutral molecule. But even if we don't go into that complicated um, steps, okay, we just look at this, any hydrogen can be replaced. Let's say this hydrogen on the from the first carbon is substituted by chlorine, you will get one chloropropane. Okay. Now, if I substitute hydrogen from the second carbon with chlorine, I get two chloropropane. But two chloropropane will not be the only product here. Okay, remember there's a mixture of a lot of products in this reaction. Therefore, we get actually very low percentage of two chloropropane as the product. So I would say A odor will give me two chloropropane as one of the products but okay i won't say it is the best method to prepare two chloropropane okay uh, or not the best method to give me very good yield of two chloropropane so i will say a is not the answer for this question let's look at b propan 2 all with dilute and acl uh, propan 2 all uh, is an alcohol now, to prepare halogenated alkane from alcohol, there are many reagents that we can use. We can use uh, hydrogen halide, HCl. We can use uh, PCl3 with heat. We can use PCl5. We can use SOCl2. But not, not dilute NaCl. These two will not react to give you halogenated alkane. So B is 0% U of 2 chloropropane, which is very low, definitely not the best method. Let's look at C, I've propan 2 all with SOCl2. Yeah, this is the one that I told you, it is one of the reagents that we use to convert alcohol to halogenated alkane. So if I have two, uh, propan 2 all, and okay, let's draw the structure of propan 2 all, let me erase this. Propan to all. Okay, three carbon. Two all meaning the hydroxyl group is bonded to carbon number two. The rest will be hydrogen. Now, when I have propan to all, okay, and then we add with SOCl2. So the OH will be replaced by Cl. Now, there's only one OH group. So only that OH can be replaced by Cl and other things will not react with SOCl2 in the molecule. So this is the only product that we get which is 2-chloropropane. So if this reaction goes to completion, I get 100% of 2-chloropropane. So this is a very good method to give me a lot of 2-chloropropane. So I would like to put a tick on C first because 
I think very high chance this is our answer. Let's look at the last one, the propene with dilute HCl. Alkene, alkenes uh, do react with hydrogen halide, HCl, HBr, okay, HI, but not dilute solution. Concentrated solution or the pure gas of hydrogen halide. So D actually will not give me 2-chloropropane. Even if they really react, okay, the U will be very, very small. So, yes, okay, I, I was correct. C is our answer for this question.